Good evening from London and hello to all dear comrades, friends and supporters from Dr. Dem Hudson, the chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Juchadir, chairman of the Korean French Association of the UK, an official delegate of KFA for the UK, President of the Association for the Study of Song and Politics of the UK and of course the owner of this very channel, Songham 007, the voice of Songham and Juche in the UK. And today is a very important day in the DPRK. Uh, because it is the 91st anniversary of the foundation of the Korean People's Revolutionary Army, the forerunner of today's Korean People's Army. Now it is said that from a small acorn a mighty oak grows. This is certainly true of the invincible Korean People's Army commanded by respected Marshal Kim Jong-un which is today equipped with the latest weapons, including intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, and the latest technology. The origins of the KPA, the Korean People's Army, go back further than its foundation as regular armed force in February 1948. In fact, the KPA's origins go back to the Korean People's Revolutionary Army, which was founded as the Anti-Japanese People's Guerrilla Army on the 25th of April 1932 by the great leader, President Kim Il-sung. President Kim Il-sung, a man of action, decided that Korea could not be liberated by words alone, not by uh, par uh, petitions or you know, other methods. Uh, the road of non-violence, the road of passive resistance, was a dead end, as indeed it was elsewhere. So, believing that, and I quote, weapons are our life and soul, oppose armed force with armed force, and end of quotation, President Kim Il-sung, embarked on the road of armed struggle. At the historic Kowloon meeting in June 1930, he put forward the line of armed struggle for the Korean Revolution, the Juche orientated road, in his famous speech, The Path of the Korean Revolution. In July 1930, the Korean Revolutionary Army was founded. On the 25th of April, 1932 in Antiu, Manchuria, uh, and uh, just to explain this, uh, many Korean people were driven out of Korea uh, because of the Japanese imperialist occupation, uh, so many Koreans lived in Manchuria. Anyway, uh, President Kim Il-sung formed the Anti-Japanese People's Guerrilla Army a revolutionary armed force composed of workers, peasants and revolutionary youth. In March 1934, it became the Korean People's Revolutionary Army, the KP, uh, KPRA. The KPRA was guided by the Juche idea. In its early days, the KPRA had to fight the Japanese imperialists with bare hands. The KPRA seized weapons from the Japanese imperialists or manufactured its own. Some fighters of the KPRA entertained the hope that the Soviet Union, the first workers and peasants state, would build a hand grenade factory for them, but this did not materialise. So President Kim Il-sung put the Juche idea and self-reliance into practice, creating the Yongil bomb made with locally available resources. The Yongil bomb struck terror into the Japanese imperialists. 
The KPRA fought many battles against the million-strong Kwangtung army of Japanese imperialism and the puppet Manchurian or Manchu cold troops of Japanese imperialism. The KPRA was vastly outnumbered by the Japanese imperialists. The Japanese imperialist armed forces uh, not only outnumbered the KPRA, but were armed to the teeth. They had the latest weaponry, including tanks and planes. However, thanks to the Juche-based guerrilla tactics of President Kim Il-sung and his brilliant commandership, the KPRA defeated the Japanese imperialists in battles such as Pachombo and Musan, to name just a few. Thanks to the self-sacrificing struggle of the guerrillas of the KPRA under the command of President Kim Il-sung, an ever-victorious, iron-willed brilliant commander and a gifted military strategist, Korea was liberated from the barbarous Japanese imperialism the 15th of August 1945. In February 1948, the KPRA was transformed into a regular armed force, the Korean People's Army, or KPA. The KPA, which inherited the revolutionary traditions of the Korean People's Revolutionary Army, defeated US imperialism in the Great Fatherland Liberation War, which is known as the Korean War in the West which lasted from 1950 to 1953. In the subsequent confrontation between the DPRK and the US after the war, the KPA, commanded by President Kim Il-sung and later Chairman Kim Jong-il, uh, was victorious. It inflicted notable defeats on the US in the Pueblo incident of 1968, the EC-121 incident of 1969 and the Perman John incident of 1976. In recent years, the US imperialists and South Korean puppets have run wild to stifle Korean-style socialism, carrying out massive military provocations that the KPA, commanded by respected Marshal Kim Jong-un, who is identical to President Kim Il-sung, Chairman Kim Jong-il, has firmly safeguarded the independence of the DPRK and its destiny, not allowing the US imperialists to encroach one millimetre on the sacred territory of the DPRK. It is the only army in the world that the US imperialists are afraid of. Thanks to the leadership of President Kim Il-sung, Chairman Kim Jong-il and Marshal Kim Jong-un, the revolutionary armed forces of People's Korea have come a long way from their humble beginnings on the 25th of April 1932. Glory to the 91st anniversary of the glorious Korean People's Army. Long live the invincible Korean People's Army. Thank you for listening. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, uh, Sungam007, please consider subscribing and also to our affiliated channel, Korean French Association of the UK. And please tell everyone about the channel and please share content from it as much as possible. Uh, we need more people to share uh, videos from the channel. And uh, we also have an online publishing program on lulu.com. I've written a number of books, but also some other authors in uh, KFA UK and the British Group for the Study of the Duce Idea have also written books which are available on the same uh, link. I will post it in the description. And above all, the most important thing is to support us uh, by participating in our events, uh, both online and in real life. Uh, we've got another film night coming up for KFA UK, and also it would be good if uh, you're on uh, the May Day March in London uh, to, uh, you know, meet up and we can march as some sort of group. And also we're planning activities for June and July. Anyway, thank you again for listening. Thank you for the support. 
to the channel and uh, have a good day and see you again soon. Goodbye.